I have joining me on the news at 10, the governor-elect of Ekiti State, Dr. Kade Fayemi. Thank you so much, and welcome to the news at 10. Thank you, Shemo, for having me. Congratulations on your victory at the polls today. Thank you. Let me begin by asking, you said that your mission is to come and reclaim the land. What exactly is your agenda returning back to power? Well, Shemo, thank you very much for asking the question. I already explained that there is unfinished business. Uh, the, the clock of progress, the clock of development stopped in Ekiti in October 2014. So coming back is just restarting the clock, revving it up, and getting it back to a developmental trajectory. Because what we've witnessed here in the last four years is arrested development. And when I say reclaiming the land, it's not just about physical reclamation of any land. It's about reclamation, restoration of the values of our people. It's the return to decency, the return to decorum, the return to dignity, the return to a sense of self-worth and self-respect. It's a return to respect for our elders and traditional institutions. It's a return to seriousness in governance. So what does this victory mean for you and your party, the APC? Well, this, this victory means for us at the micro level, at the equity state level, uh, a determination by our people to really have governance on a serious level back in equity state. On a much more macro national level, this victory means that the propaganda out there about our party being the party of um, ethnicist and tribalist and people who are just interested in a particular section of the country is not selling to the ordinary Nigerian. That's why the people have shown faith by returning us back to office. Your opponents say they are going to court. Are you afraid of that move? <laughs> it's well within the right of any contestant in election to decide which way they want to go. The Electoral Act provides for that. Election is a first stage, and it's a process. And there is a dimension of it which also accommodates an election tribunal. So it's well within the right of my opponents, if they so choose to do, to contest the election uh, in, in the tribunal. Am I afraid of it? I'm a veteran of tribunal. Uh, don't forget, I ran in a race in 2007. I did not become governor in this state till 2010. After having gone through two tribunals, two appeal court judgments, another round of rerun elections, and then I eventually emerged as the rightful winner of the 2007 election. It's not something that I yearn for, it's not something that I celebrate, but if that's the way this is going to be determined, uh, I am not afraid because I know this election has been clearly fairly won uh, by my party. As your opponent reached out to you, the deputy governor and the candidate of the PDP, well, not to the best of my knowledge. I don't think I'm that difficult to reach out to. Uh, the institution of state knows how to get across to uh, someone of my stature in equity state if they so truly desire to do such. Uh, it took me less than 24 hours to reach my opponent, the current incumbent governor, when the 2014 race uh, occurred. I, I, I called him up myself, I invited him to government house after making that historic speech. If indeed this is the will of Ekiti people, I concede to their judgment. And that's despite the fact that I had my misgivings about what transpired in that election, which was later revealed by Sergeant Kame, by, by Captain Kohli in the popular tapes of what transpired, how the Ekiti elections were manipulated. Uh, but for me, this is the right of the candidate of the opposing side. And if they want to reach out and uh, speak to me 
I'm quite happy to You've talked to about that. the people of Ekiti State. Absolutely. Uh, Consider the kind of tension that trailed this election and the, the kind of animosity created. Would you be willing uh, to draw closer to your opponent for the sake of peace in the state? Absolutely. Listen, Sean, that's actually what we're about. We're a peace-loving people in Ekiti. Yes, we hate oppression. We hate intimidation, we hate harassment, we hate cheating. But ultimately, we're really a decent lot. I mean, we're rustic, we're rural, but we're educated. So we know the value of engaging one another and coming to the right conclusions. I am going to be the governor of Ekiti State, not the governor of my party not the governor of my friends, but the governor of all, including those who did not vote for me in that election. It's their choice to some decide who to vote for. Some sections of the workforce in Ekiti State have not been paid their salaries. Would that be... Not some sections, all sections of the workforce. Would that be your priority in the, within the first few weeks of uh, coming into office? As a matter of fact, in my press conference today, I did indicate that I would engage the government of the day before it leaves office to work out the way and manner in which that particular problem will be dealt with as a priority. So meaning my transition team would also be talking to the current government and exploring ways of ensuring that the workers of Ekiti actually have this backlog cleared, if possible, before I even get to office. So what, what is your major priority? in assuming office, for example, within the first one month? Clearing salaries backlog, because this doesn't just affect the equity worker, it also affects the equity local economy because of the multiplier effect. The bulk of the workforce also have an impact on the wider economy, because if civil servants don't earn their pay, they can't buy in the market, and if they don't buy in the market, you know that the local economy would ultimately collapse. That's what we have witnessed, and that is what has resulted in the arrested development of the last three and a half years. I would like so, you to answer this in one sentence. Would you be probing finances of this administration should you, if it, when it comes to power? Shion, it would be stupid of me to come here and tell you that I would not look into the records of what happened before my being sworn in as governor of the state. Certainly, I'm going to look at the records. Whether you want to describe that as a probe is not something that I want to get into. That's just a nomenclature and um, uh, a terminology. Right. The important thing is I'm going to review what happened in the state in the last four years. Dr. Okade, if I am a governor-elect, Ekiti State, congratulations once again, and thank you so much for talking to us on the news at 10. Thank you, Shane, for having me.